Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all staying nice. Remember how I'm building a library in Minecraft. Now, um, there used to be a village here, and now that grey platform there is a bunch of um smooth stone slabs, which is going to be the foundation for what I'm going to use. So I just need to go grab a few blocks. Now those two chests are all the blocks from that I just got from the village. You might also notice I'm quite a low level, like with no levels. It's because I just enchanted this. Like I said though, just need to grab a few blocks. Now I have been farming a lot of leather because I wanted to make a bunch of bookshelves. So don't be too shocked when you see how many bookshelves I've got. Like I don't actually remember what chest I put them in, but trust me, I've got quite a few of them. I think, it, like I'll be honest, I think it's like three or four stacks of them. I found most of the leather when I was in the nether though. I also have a bunch of logs ready to go because I want to build the outside with wood. Okay, yeah, so th okay, basically three and a half stacks. Now, also yesterday, I did lose one of the villagers to a zombie because it turns out like when the rain was starting yesterday. Well, of course, like well, okay, fine. St I should mention what was happening instead of saying like when it was happening because not like you were actually there to see it. Like, it started raining in the world yesterday when I was playing in it, and I thought it was just basic rain, but nope, it was a thunderstorm. And one of the villagers died to a zombie, so I had to kill that villager. And now I don't even know what book he traded, so that's a problem with for me. Because now that I don't know what he traded, well, you know. Now I'm going to take some inspiration from the, um... That library area inside of the um the end stronghold. Because I want to basically like, on the top floor, because like I want to build two floors. Like the top floor is gonna be basically not even useful at all. Like it's just gonna be like just a whole ring of just a bunch of bookshelves in the wall. Like that's literally all it's going to be. Let's me sleep for fuck's sake. Oh, mate. One, one second, let me get my stream open on my laptop now that I think about it. Now, this is going to be a pretty basic thing as well, to be fair, so don't expect it to be incredibly impressive. Like, I mean, maybe one day I'll upgrade it in the future. But also, I've got two other villages that I want to make buildings for. Because I want to separate each village to be separate sort of villagers, if you if you understand what I mean by that. Like, basically, I want this village to be Liberians. The villager is way over there in the distance, just past that hill, um, to be a bunch of archers. And that village there to be a bunch of clerics. Because put simply, I'm going to be building an XP farm sooner or later that farms zone 5 piglins constantly. Like, you might have seen it in some of my previous worlds. And yeah. Um, I just want to make a bunch of them. So like, that way, you know, makes it easier. Um, for now, let's just go with 10 blocks upwards. Um, right. Yeah, all right, that's three. That might hurt a lot, but I don't care. I've got full damage I mean, protection on my armor. Oh, well, Feather Fallen, but Feather Fallen, Fall Down Protection, same shit, really. Now, in the centre is probably where I'm going to keep all these villagers. But, yeah, um, for now, yeah, whatever. Um... Okay, somehow I technically took damage, but didn't take damage. Actually, you know what? For the rest of the walls, I think I'll use cobblestone. Because, don't get me wrong, I, I mean, like, some other blocks would look good, but I feel like cobblestone might look a bit better. Because, like, I don't want it to be just all wood. Like, it just seems way too bland, if you ask me. Not that I haven't done things like that before, where I've just made it one whole material. But I'm trying to just get a little better at the creativity aspect of things. 
Uh, okay, let me just go grab a bit of extra cobblestone from back, uh, like where my chests are, just in case. I mean, like, I haven't really been farming many blocks in this world, and it just feels weird. Because usually by now, I would probably have, like, two or three chests filled with just one specific block. But now, like, I just don't, because I just can't be asked mining. <sighs> Still need to think of a name for my horse. If anyone wants to come up with a name for my horse in the comments below, go for it. I'll read them and think about it. Because I do want to name it. I don't care if it's a he name or a she name. Just go with some names in the comments and I'll take a look. I might destroy this fish farm in the, later on in the world because now I technically don't need it. Like that was just to get me some books for stuff. And now I don't need them at all. Still, like I said, the problem is figuring out which villager I had to lose to a zombie. Because like I don't want to have to go through each villager a million times around just to figure out what the hell they traded. Just feels like it'll take too long. Now, for now, I'm just going to chuck in a load of cobblestone walls and I'll figure out like doors and windows and all that stuff later on. I actually might build these walls like maybe a few blocks higher. I'll think about it. Yeah, for now this is basically going to be a whole cube, or oh, whatever the hell shape it is. I, like, I don't know what shape it is. Like, rectangle, square, cube, whatever the fuck. I'm only saying because I just can't be arse talking, by the way. Now, we'll upgrade this place in the future. 
like I said, wait, did I already say that? But like, yeah, for now, like I said, it's just going to be a basic build. Like, it's not going to be anything impressive. It's not going to be like, holy shit, that looks absolutely fucking amazing. Because like, honestly, I'm just not at that level yet, but hey, I'll start slowly upgrading. Like, maybe making it bigger, adding more bookshelves, things like that. But for now, this is just to keep them as safe as possible as well, which means by the villagers. Okay, I feel like I'm going to have just about enough blocks for this. After this, I'm going to have to go farm a bunch more cobblestone if I want to be able to even make the XP farm that I want to make. Because it requires quite a lot of blocks as far as I remember. I mean, it's just going to be solid blocks that don't burn, but I mean, still. I just want to use cobblestone or something. Alright, looks like I have to go find like about a stack or two of blocks. Oh, I've got my bed in my inventory. This angle is really looking worse for wear, but hey, I'll help him out in the future. I'm pretty sure there's a cop this area with some stone around here somewhere. Ah, here here's some. There's one of my neighbor's dogs barking. That's why I don't know which one barks more, my dogs or next door neighbors. Probably the neighbor's dogs. Anyway, right now it's huh, just gone quarter past nine for me. Jeez, didn't even know it was that time. Some hostile mobs might be able to spawn down here, but whatever. They'll have to be able to find a way to do some crazy parkour if they want to get out. Or maybe they won't. I might even make a parkour course for myself in the future to try and use. Like, make myself a little better at it. I know there's probably parkour courses inside some maps that people make, but I'd rather not bother downloading those. I see as I got all these wood built planks from the, um, the village. Hold on. Gonna need this, gonna need that, and you'll see what I mean by the build I'm going for in a second. Hold on. Just had an itch on my head there. <sighs> um, no, I'm not gonna need the bed, nothing, but. It. Uh, okay, and hold on. Place a block there. 
And hold on, let's just get to work on this. Oops. I don't want to make it too high because I mean, like, like I said, I might make this building higher. But for now, yeah, this is going to be this height. Actually, I might make this go four blocks outwards. Yeah, four blocks outwards sounds better to me. It just feels weird for the corners though, so... Um, actually, let's take a look at how the corners will look with it. Yeah, that's going to look weird for a bit. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Um, wait, one, two, three, four, and then, yeah, okay. Oh, hold on. Wait, one, two, yeah, okay, hold on. But yeah, like I said, this upstairs area, it's just going to be, like, you know, just a bunch of bookshelves on the wall. Nothing important, really. You know what? Let's go grab every single plank that we've got in these chests from the village. And thanks to the village, I didn't even have to build these chests. I just had to take them. <laughs> and what day is it today? Oh, Friday. Sometimes I lose track of the days. That's it. It's kind of like when I, whenever I was on holiday, I lost track of what day it was more than half the time. Oh, now that I think about it, like, I want to make it so, like, it's, like, three rows of bookshelves. Like, bookshelf here, bookshelf here, bookshelf there. Then, like, planks or logs. And then, like, whatever the other one was, like, between planks and logs. Like, if I use logs there, planks here, and then logs there, and then bookshelves, and then follow that exact same pattern along the wall. But this is kind of screwing me over. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I feel like that'll work better. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Also, I should mention that, like, the um, Fortnite Sun event for this year is active right now, but I'm just not wanting to make a video on it. Anyway, it's not made any changes to the map. It's just basically a bunch of quests for free rewards, like a glider, back bling, and a weapon wrap. So I just don't feel like it's worth making a video over, is all. Yeah, everything in Sun Fortnite days really seems lackluster. As the saying goes, or whatever the hell it is. Wait, one, two. <sighs> Maybe I could make this three blocks, but you know what, for now, I'll leave it this. Now to place fences around here, so whenever I'm up here, I don't fall off, even though, I'm sorry, if I fall off of this, I'm officially a robot. I 
I kind of also want to make a bit of a chandelier where, like, I'm putting torches on them. But, uh, like, we'll see how that goes. Because, like, after, like, there's a huge center part. Also, I might just make it so, like there's a huge square in the center where I'm just putting every villager and some of their beds. But I'll upgrade, like, where I keep them in this building in the future. But for now, yeah, it's just going to be so basic that it's like, pfft, dude. Like, it's just going to look kind of stupid, really. But, hey. Honestly, I'm doing what I can do. Like, not everyone is built to be, like, a huge, um, sort of person that can... You you get where I'm going with this, right, guys? Like, like not everyone is able to be as creative as everyone else is. Like, some people are super creative. Some people, pfft, yeah, their creativity is look at what they build. is like, and what the fuck is that supposed to be? Yeah, I'm just going to try and keep, like, every block here, because, like, then this has to be, like, 18 blocks wide. And this is... Wait, let me just count how many blocks this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Why is it 21 blocks? One second. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Why don't I build 21 blocks? What the fuck is wrong with me? Great, that's one thing I need to correct now. I wanted it to be 20 blocks in each direction, but somehow I got 21 blocks. <sighs> Let me just count how many blocks it is in this direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's 20 blocks. Then why is this one 21? This is going to take a while to do, but meh, whatever. See, I want to, like, get, make sure this block and the block that's over there that's got the ladder on it like, are basically, in a way, non-existent to the build. Because, well, like, if I'm going with three blocks each time, it, I want it to be completely even with, like, how it looks. Like, I don't want, like, just a random, like, two bookshelf thing or something like that. Show it, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking hurt you, mate. Mate, hurt one more time, I swear to God, I'll stick a hurt up your... <laughs> that sounds so weirdly sexual. And mate, what are you doing over here? I swear it's faster to tap the um, trigger button instead of mining. Because, like, this is me holding it. And this is me tapping it. Like, I swear, like, it's faster if I just tap it. Um, why the hell was I standing on that block? Oh, well, whatever. Not that big of a deal. So let me just make sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I kind of have to destroy this fence that's right here behind me as well, just to correct it a little. Uh, 
That's that weird for jumping straight onto grass. Mate, what the hell do you think you're doing in here? Get the hell out. You're not allowed in this building yet. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with the spare villagers I have. Maybe I'll keep them ready for when I need new books. Like, for instance, if I ever get a heavy core from the, um, whatever the place is called. Like, you know what place I'm talking about, the, um, the trial chamber. Like, I mean, I've already opened the ominous vaults that are in the trial chamber that I know of, and I didn't get a single heavy core or even a windburst book. I think I mostly just got like two like two or three enchanted apples and that's all I remember. You know what? I'll leave this wall open for now. Actually, hold on. No, no, no. I've got an idea on what to do with it. Let's find the center. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. There's the center of it. Alright. So that's where I'm going to build the doors. And to make extra certain that no mobs can get in, I'm going to make them iron doors. Because I'm not risking a single damn zombie killing my villagers anymore. I will flip and lose it if a single zombie kills them again. I mean, not that I have to care, because like I said, I've got an all the books that I needed from them already. Where do I have the extra cobblestone from? Because I've clearly got some extra cobblestone with me right now. Where the hell did I get that from? I can understand a few of the blocks, like these ones here, but the rest I don't. Well, I don't remember, I should say. <laughs> Either way, let's get back to what we were doing. Move it, mate. So let me just lay down the foundation for the book. How are you up here? Get out. Mate, you can get out or I can kill you. We're just going to stand here and stare at each other. Mate, I don't want to have to punch you, but I will. I've got an idea. Hold on. Let's just get him away from this corner so he can't climb up. His system seems to have encountered a Windows error. So the bookshelf's there, then one, two... Three. There. One, two, three. Oh. Thank God for Silk Touch Axe. That's why I made the Silk Touch Axe, because you might have noticed I had, um, you know, something else in the chest, but 
you know, what well, you'll understand it soon. Um, you know what? Let's put logs in this corner. I know it kind of looks strange with logs on the inside and out, but whatever. So, yeah, so now it's going to be planks inside these two parts. Like planks here, planks there, logs there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, tell you what. Ouch. Oh my god, what is it with this villager wanting to be off here? Like, I swear to god, get lost, mate. Now, I will, of course, place bookshelves down there as well, but that's going to be more of like a whatever sort of thing, you know? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Alright, there's a good chance I might not have enough bookshelves. One, two, three. But hey, if I have to, I can go kill some more animals. Someone's certified taking that out of context. Actually, hold on. Let's change up this side here as well. Make it a bit more even with that side. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, well, actually, this part here is just going to have to be, like, more of a... Okay, hold on. We're just going to place some logs here on th this end because, like, this way, you know, all that sort of stuff. Because otherwise, it's just going to look strange with it being all that close up. Actually, not nah, nah, nah. Logs right here. What do you villagers want from me? Like, I'm helping you out here. What else do you want? Huh? Anyway, now that I think about it, I won't even be able to see those logs that are in these corners unless I'm up here. Okay, well, this will be enough bookshelves for up here, at least. Hopefully. There we go. So, do that there. So for now, we're just going to place these. Oh, I did not mean to place that. But like I said, this is just going to be the start of it. Like, I will upgrade it in the future. But for now, it's just going to look like a pile of shit. Hey, it's something better than what I've made in the past. Like, what the hell shit did I make in the past? And is that... I swear, that villager's still on that ladder. What the fuck do you have with that ladder, mate? Like, are you in a fucking relationship with it now, or something? Is it me or do I keep hearing a child villager? That's either the floor beneath me or it's a child villager, but why the hell would there be a child? Unless another villager happened to die. Alright, so now let's just add the logs in. I'm trying to decide if I want them to be stripped oak logs or... Um, okay, tell you what, let's take a look. So we'll do this, and we'll do that. So we'll do this on those ones. 
and take a look from the distance. See which one we agree with more. Yeah, I think I agree with the normal oak logs more, to be fair. Like, I mean, the stripped oak logs look cool with it, but, I mean, they blend into the oak logs a bit too much, if you ask me. I swear to god I want to kill that villager that's down there. But why is there a horse in here now? <laughs> Tell you what, let me start work on the chandelier area that I wanted to make. So I'm going to need defenses for that because put him there one... Uh, okay, well, you'll see what I... Ow! Sir, get out of here or I swear to god I will kill you. Like, I'll literally drown the guy. Like, I'm not joking. I'm going to drown this guy if he doesn't leave soon. Like, it's starting to piss me off that he's just staying around here. And not that I care too much about him being here. It's just... Well, it's hard to describe what I mean, but... Whatever. Um... I kind of want to use wooden slabs for the roof, but at the same time... Actually, you know what? Fine. For now, we'll use wooden slabs for the roof. But in the future, I'm going to change what I'm using. So we've got 20, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait, right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Okay, so a six, um... Okay, well, we've just hit a bit of a roadblock right now because I want it to be a bit more even in the center, like, with only one of the wooden fences coming down. I guess I can work with four of them, though. So, hold on. Let's find the exact center. Wait, so yeah, one, two. Oh. <laughs> so for now, we're just going to make this part and then, well, you'll see what I'm going to do. Some people probably understand what I'm going to do already, but some people that don't, well, you'll see. You'll see. So now we need to find the center of this area as well. So, one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So does that come from, yeah, that's coming from that log. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And now that we do this part, um, oh wait, why did I place those blocks there? It's, this is just to be able to find the exact center, so I know where to, um, like, I want it to be centered with everything, okay? Like, it'll light up the whole area. Well, hopefully. Like, down there is going to be a bit more of a difficult thing to do.
So just to make sure that I know precisely the center air blocks, um, let's see. There we go. So now, um, hold on. Do this, do that. Okay, so now if we just that. Okay, why is it not placed the block half the time? So there's going to be a torch on that block there, so hold on. This is why I want it to be like only one block in the center, but like for that I'd have to change up the whole design. But for now I'll work with this. It looks pretty bad, I will not lie. <laughs> and I do not like it one bit. <laughs> but whatever. It works for now, won't it? I guess we'll see when we actually put the roof on here. So for now, we're just going to place a bunch of torches on each of these blocks. But yeah, from up here, this is going to look like a piece of shit. Hey, don't blame me, honestly. I, I, I'm not bothered to rechange this whole building again. This just looks horrible from here, though. Like, it really does. Like, I'm sorry. Like, to me, this just looks awful. So, I'm definitely going to be changing that. What do you have with this corner, mate? You know what? Actually, just to make it easier for the corners... Um, oh, wait, I can't place a block there. Um... Actually, I've got an idea on how I can work on making it so like in here is a bit more brighter. I can put some torches on bookshelves that I'm going to make go from side to side. Now, mate, move away from the ladder. You do not have permission to be upstairs. Not that you really need permission, but, well, for here, you do. See, this is for the librarians. Yeah, yeah, from up here, this thing just looks horrible to look at. Oh my god. There's a baby chicken. Mate, what is it with you wanting to spend the rest of your life in here? Jesus Christ, get the hell out. Are you kidding? That's why you can't get out, because you just look right at a fucking wall. Get moving. Mate, if these villagers end up dead because you're not going to your bed, I swear to God. Why are there so many mobs around me right now? Now, just so I can stop this guy from getting back in. Because like, I know something like, dude, that only stops him from getting back in, not some small mobs from getting in. Yeah, I know. I don't care about the small mobs. Do the small mobs get in? So what? I just didn't want the villager in here.
Floating. Oh. Ow. Hey, well, after I've built this roof, then I'm going to end the stream. But I'm going to continue building most of it off stream, okay? This wood roof just is probably not going to look that nice, but meh, whatever. Ah, oh, there's a cat in here. But yeah, downstairs I want to start some bookshelves up, but for that, that's just going to take a while because I'm going to need to farm a lot more leather. I mean, the paper isn't a problem because I've got a bunch of bone blocks from when I've been in the trial chamber. Because I've farmed a bunch of skeletons that are there, or as they're called, bog, but bogged skeletons, same thing really. sake I mean maybe I might place a chest or two around this top half as well but I mean what would I really put in that chest also a part of me was thinking of making a chiseled bookshelf in some areas of this but that would just be kind of stupid really because like uh, I would probably want to use it as a secret door but what would I use a secret door for in this building, huh? So the part that's going to be in the center where I'm going to keep the villagers as well. Like, I kind of want to make it kind of like a reception area in a way, if that makes sense. Like, like you know like how like sometimes you walk into a library, they've got that reception area. Like, I kind of want to make it like that, but, like, the villagers cannot escape from it. Actually, you know what? No, no. I'll actually let them be able to get out of it. Of course, it seems fair, because if I've got an iron door there, they can't get out. Like, I'll just make it so I put simply, on the on this end, there's, like, pressure plates. So that's the... Actually, no, no, because then otherwise a zombie is immediately getting in. Um, I'll think about it. Like, trust me, like, guys, this is just going to take a while, but meh, whatever. 
I know it's not much, but hey, honestly, I mean, like, I'll even probably upgrade, like, how the outside of it looks like to make it a bit more, more building, like, not just so cubed. Because making it just a whole ass cube just feels boring nowadays. You know what, maybe I might copy the design that's upstairs with the bookshelves. You know, from down here, those bookshelves, honestly, you cannot deny, they look pretty cool. Like, and no one can deny that. Like, they do look pretty cool when you're looking at them from down here. I mean, the design pattern is a little annoying to look at when it comes to, like, corners like that and whatnot, but, meh, I'll learn to live with it. Let's, okay, so wait, yeah, we've got 13 bookshelves left, and that cost, and those cost me god knows how many. But now I'd say I should work on getting the villagers in here. The problem is, I don't know where to put their beds, because I want to keep the, actually, you know what, maybe I might make a second room outside this building, but actually, uh, that's a bit debatable, because I can't, like, I was just about to say, maybe I'll make a second building outside of here where, like, they can go out and just go into a room where all their beds are kept. But at the same time, that sounds a bit risky because, like, then, like, I've got to sort out the beds and all that and then the villagers. Tell you what, I'll think about it for now. But for now, I'm going to end my stream here and I'm going to continue building this off stream. Like, by the way, I might add some glass here and there around this thing. But for now, it's just going to look like this. Yeah, when it's done properly, like when I'm fully finished, it will hopefully look a bit better than this. But for now, it's going to look like a piece of shit. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this live stream. And I will see you in my next one. So, um, hold on. Bye for now, guys.